Under smoky, cloudy skies in Caldwell, County Farm Bureau delegates gathered at the Best Western Plus Hotel just off Interstate 84. Where is this curriculum going to come from? What's it going to look like? How involved are we going to be to implement it? Issues and debate dominate the meeting. Idaho Farm Bureau Executive Director Zach Miller says you can't find a better example of grassroots politics in the United States. This is where a whole year's worth of work amongst counties of discussing the needs of agriculture, the needs of Idaho, they culminate in this one of these meetings to determine what goes on to the state and this is the process to start building our policy book and it's the grassroots. One person had one idea and this is where we see if it's good enough to go on and, and represent us or if it needs more work and more thought process for another year. Farmers and ranchers from the Farm Bureau's District 4 debated the issues, brought policies, concerns, and wisdom from their fields to the annual fall meeting. And I might be wrong, but I thought that was the fourth grade level. So everything that we do comes from the bottom up, the membership up to the leadership. And so we decide the direction of the organization, we decide what we want to focus on, and I think that's what makes us stand out. But that's also a selling point to new members because their voice will be heard. It's kind of how it should be. When resolutions pass this hurdle, they're voted on at the state resolution meeting later this month in Boise. And then they move to the annual meeting in December, then lobbied at the Idaho State House. Some resolutions have made it into the American Farm Bureau Policy Book and have made it all the way to Capitol Hill. A few Idaho resolutions have even been passed into law. The board may have to assist in. Today's resolutions were varied and broad, everything from wolves to school curriculums, even dams and water storage. Not all resolutions pass. Some are redundant, some are sent back for revision. More than 20 resolutions were considered and the best passed on to the state committee. But every year we go through our policies and we decide the direction of the Farm Bureau and it's a pretty consistent direction and then uh, that's what we stick to. So the policy book is the guidebook for the whole thing. For the Voice of Idaho Agriculture, I'm Jake Putnam.